Now we're going to move on to antonyms as context clues. Now antonyms are opposites. But how do I make that as a context clue? So here we go. Sometimes antonyms are used in writing to help readers understand difficult words. In these cases, the writer, okay, so the writer may use an obvious antonym. or an idea to show contrast. You're going to look for keywords such as although, even though, Unlike, but I think that would be enough to cover it. All right, so here are some examples. Unlike my brother, so there's our keyword. Unlike my brother, who is boisterous. That's our word. And full of energy. I feel exhausted in the morning when I wake up. It would be nice to feel refreshed in the morning. Okay, so I use the word unlike. So I'm saying that there's two things that are being compared here. My brother and myself. So I'm trying to figure out the word that describes my brother. So if I'm different than my brother and I am tired and not full of energy when I wake up and I'm exhausted and my brother is different than me, my brother is full of energy and how is someone who is full of energy? They are very, they might be very loud or um, ready to go or um, so it has to do with someone who is very energetic and um, hyper or just happy overall. So. Boisterous has to do with that, okay? Because we used the opposite, unlike. So down here, we're comparing my brother and I. I'm exhausted. So my brother is... So my brother... must be energetic. So boisterous must mean energetic or something along those lines. Also, you can think about someone who is energetic in the morning. They could be loud. They could be noisy. They could be jumping around, rowdy, things like that. So that is an example of antonyms as context clues, and now you're going to practice them.